I personally didn't like Windows 8, but I have to admit that it sure was very visually unique. Windows 11, on the other hand, is kinda basic, flat and boring. To fix that, we have to turn Windows 11 into Windows 8. Starting with the easiest part, wallpaper. Let's set it as desktop background. This is the Windows 8 desktop wallpaper. The next thing that we need is the Windows 8 style start menu, which looked like this, if you remember. And so I'll download an application called Explorer Patcher. If you download this program, then just be careful with it, because I heard that it can break stuff after Windows updates. Downloads EP Setup ARM 64. Yes. Oh, and my taskbar changed to the Windows 10 taskbar. Taskbar behavior alignment left, so that the start menu is in the left. Then let's right click on this new taskbar and properties. Start menu, start menu style, Windows 10. And display mode, full screen start. This is what's gonna turn everything into a full screen tiles start menu. Let's just pin random apps, copilot, camera, calculator. Okay. This looks great. Resize wide, resize wide, and something like this. And let's also put it like this. Okay, so this is kind of the best we can do, I believe. And we can even name groups as well. Then the next thing that we have to fix, if we open up any application, then we can see that it has rounded corners. Oh wait, actually online I just found that you can disable rounded corners through Explorer Patcher, which is what we have. So let's go to other, disable rounded corners for application windows. Yes, restart file explorer. And there I have gotten rid of rounded corners. This feels a bit nostalgic. But now before we apply the Windows 8 taskbar, let's first get some Windows 8 colors. And for that we need a program called WinPaletter. WinPaletter EXE. Now let's go to File Explorer, Downloads, and let's run this one. Yes. WinPaletter setup. Next, I accept. Finish. Thank you for choosing and using WinPaletter. Finish. And it should be... Win Polliter. Okay, there it is. So I'm just gonna go to Windows Team and... Basically for the title bars, what we need is active title bar. This one needs to be this yellow color. And let's drop it in here, just like that. Inactive title bar, this one also yellow. Windows 8 was yellow and purple. And then there's this purple color. I just grab it and drop it in pretty much everywhere. Apply. Taskbar and action center. Apply. Okay, so this one should be more like it, I think. Dark light mode, windows, application mode, dark. Apply. This is the dark start menu. I think this looks a bit better than the light mode. But that's kind of all I wanted to do here. Now, a few more things that we have to apply. I want to change the taskbar to be a bit more like Windows 8. Okay, this is a bit problematic. Window blinds doesn't work. How do I change the taskbar now? This was unplanned. I'm kind of thinking, how can we do this? And I think start all back, what was it called? This one could possibly fix all of our issues. It should let us set a Windows 8 taskbar. Okay, taskbar. Does it look like Windows 8? I'm not sure. I think Windows 8 was more like Windows 7. Very good. Windows 8 start menu, Windows 8 taskbar, Windows 8 everything. Windows 8 recycle bin was literally the same thing as, as Windows 7 recycle bin. ICO file, this is the one that we need. Desktop icon settings. And then let's go to recycle bin empty, change icon, browse. And there it is, the old Windows recycle bin icon. It's kind of ugly, to be honest. We have the wallpaper, we have the contextual menu, we have the recycle bin, we have the taskbar, which looks like Windows 7, but the Windows 8 taskbar also looks just like Windows 7. And most importantly, we have the start menu. This one I'm the most proud of, especially the start menu animation, how it opens. Anyway, you might be interested in watching this video next.